Well, basically what the company is saying, and we're going to explain this to you in a minute, is they now have a fix that includes pilot training, a software update, and sort of additional indications in the cockpit to keep this system called MCAS from basically lifting up the back tail of the plane and forcing the nose down by mistake. Inside Boeing's Renton factory, nearly every 737 airliner under construction is a MAX. But they aren't going to be delivered to any airlines, at least not until Boeing's proposed software fix is signed off by regulators. You can spot a MAX in part because of the unique split winglet. And if you look closely, you can see that tiny wing-like vein near the nose of the plane that's now at the center of two crash investigations. It's called an angle of attack sensor and it's suspected of playing a role in those crashes at the cost of 346 lives. We mourn this loss of life and we're going to do everything that we can do to ensure that accidents like these never happen again. Mike Sinnott is an aerospace engineer by training and is Boeing's VP for product strategy. He defends how the MAX was designed and certified. The 737 family is a safe airplane family. And the 737 MAX builds on that tremendous history of safety that we've seen for the last almost 50 years. The company points out a basic tenet of accidents, that it's usually a chain of linked events. We may not know the final cause or causes officially of these two crashes for months, but one of the links is suspected to be how those little sensors affected the plane's MCAS system. So what is Boeing committed to do? Each plane has two of those little veins, but Boeing says the system as originally designed only used one of the sensors, what's considered a vulnerable single point failure. The revised system will now rely on both sensors. And if those sensors don't agree with each other, a warning light will appear. And airlines can also have an optional display showing the position of the sensor and a second warning if they don't match up. The system will now only activate once, avoiding a situation suspected to have happened in the Lion Air crash where pilots repeatedly had to fight the MCAS system, which is trying to push the nose down. But the company spent today briefing pilots, regulators, and airline executives, piping in this feed from the 737 MAX engineering cab, along with a look at the primary flight display to help pilots understand what the company is doing. Well, we were confident flying the aircraft uh, in its present state. Uh, what they've done, what was explained to us uh, today in detail, and, uh, are significant enhancements uh, to the system. Now that is Roddy Guthrie. He is the 737 fleet captain for this carrier, which is American Airlines. We were all talking to him out here earlier. He says he got out a lot out of that. Also, one of their chief pilots for the union, the uh, Air Allied Pilots Association, was also here. We hope to have more with them for you tomorrow. Uh, but basically, they American Airlines says we never had a glitch with the MAX. They're glad Boeing is doing what they're doing. But because these airliners can, in these days, transmit all this flight data in real time, they said they scoured through that flight data and at least for their fleet of 24 airplanes so far, this being the 25th, it's been pretty clean. Live at Boeing Field, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.